Okay, so I want to, uh, I don't have the actual messages to read, but I want to explain uh, why Chad is gone. Okay, so we, we box up his stuff, he walked in, we let him go immediately. Um, and I want to take a few minutes to explain why, okay? Um, as our team grows, we've got to remember that we have to be professional salespeople. And if you remember, I just spoke to the whole team on Friday about like some, some key points, right? You know, treating people the right way, ethics, integrity, not lying, not cursing, like, you know what I mean? Like several things. And, and, and what was one thing that I mentioned to the whole team recently that is the most important thing to me? You guys remember? Not swearing. Well, integrity, I would say. Okay. It, how they, uh, how it, they view it, us, how they view you. Okay, so that's good. That, that's exactly right. Yes, that's exactly right. How they view you is how they view me. Yes. So, and it, it, it comes down to, thank you, it comes down to reputation, right? That's it. Like if we don't have it, it's over. And I've strived over these last four or five years to really have a good reputation in the market. And I will not let anyone, as much as I love you guys, I will not let anyone mess that up and screw that up. Okay. So we are recording this for YouTube because other professional salespeople need to hear this. We made a mistake internally by not vetting this guy a little further because unfortunately, um, Chad was trying to sell a client called by the name of Jeremiah. I won't list his last name. And he sent him a bunch of texts that were not okay. And whatever you can think it was, it was probably worse. Okay. I mean, it, it was just, I don't have the, again, we're, we're she, Cassie using my phone, so I can't, can't read it, but it was not good. It was not okay. And it was not a reflection of us and our brand and our, and, and my reputation, you know, because the, cause what happened is Chad sent this guy a bunch of freaking psychotic messages and the guy takes it, screenshots it all, tags me on Facebook in the insurance soup Facebook group in front of 33,000 people because I'm a moderator of that Facebook group and because I'm good friends with Taylor and Michael. And I'm only a moderator because they trust me, you know, I'm only a moderator because we've known each other for years. I'm only a moderator because they know I would never do anyone wrong in any way ever. If, 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 if for any way I can help it, even like I, there's been times where I went out of my way and hurt myself just to not hurt our reputation. Okay. So, uh, just remember that's, that's really what's at stake, you know, because, and, and I'm thinking about me, I'm like, okay, over the last decade in sales, 11, 12 years in sales, has anyone ever got so mad at me that they like wanted to put my reputation on blast, you know, or, or, or they hated me or they thought the reputation went poorly. And I'm thinking, I, I don't think so. You know, like it has never happened to me ever. And I, if it's up to me, it never will. So as this thing grows and we keep adding new people and we bring new people to the fold that I don't know, that, that's a big risk, right? So, so um, if you're here, don't do what Chad did. Like it's that easy. And you're like, well, what did he do? Well, he did something really dumb. So just don't do anything really dumb. <laughs> and if you think that you may do something dumb, let me know now and I'll box your stuff up too, okay? Now, I don't want this to turn into something super crazy negative that, that we start our day with. But this is how I woke up at about 5.55 a.m. was to that. And I'm like, holy freaking, I, 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 was, I was in the gym working out and I was just so irritated and, 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 and ticked off that I was ready to get to the office to, to move on with this. And I hate starting my day that way. You know, I don't think anybody should. Okay, so, so um, if at any time you don't think you are cut out for this or that you have, or that you are going to put my reputation or Landon's or anybody on the team in jeopardy, or you think you may be, you know, a little psycho every now and then, let me know now. Okay. And, and I will help you find something else. All right. Uh, I want you to th here's what I want to challenge you guys with. If at any point ever, there's the, you're thinking about sending something and part of you is like, I don't know if I should send this. Do not click send. Right. Ask me first if you're really curious, right? Rodney says some crazy stuff, right? But he would never put my reputation in, 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 he would never do me in a bad way. He just wouldn't. Okay. So, so if there's ever a time where you're like, I don't know if this is okay, 
then it ain't okay. Okay, that's that's the guide from now on. That's that's the measuring stick. Okay, uh, the good thing is he's gone, and as you can see, we we mean business. We we don't put up with any nonsense at all. Like I want you here. I want you to make a ton of money. I want us all to sell a ton of stuff. I want this to be, you know, an unbelievable sales career. And for many of you, it's the best career you've ever had. And you've said it time and time again. And, and that makes me happy, you know, but, but in any, but, but at the same time, uh, I can't have something like this ever happen again. Okay. So, so I want you to think, because really I don't view this as a call center environment in any way. I view you as a professional salesperson with a chance to make this a career. Like if this feels like a call center, then something's wrong because there's a lot of sleazy call centers around our city that, that we can, that people can go to. And this is not one of them and it never will be. Okay. We're about to add 6,500 square feet January 1st. We're bringing on, I don't even know, sometimes 30, 20, 30, 40, 50 new marketing clients a week. You know, like the brand is blowing up. We're having trouble keeping up. And, and the last thing I need to worry about is this department at all, you know? And so if, so if Mike, Jeremy, or Rodney get the sense of anything happening as the sales leads in the future. They have my permission to walk you to, to, to walk anybody to Andy or themselves to Andy and 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 cut ties. Okay, because at the end of the day, I, I, I don't care how long someone's been with me, how great they are. Derek's been with me two years. He's always been crazy professional. If he, if for any reason, decides not to be, I love Derek. This is not a charity. You know, it's still a business. Right. So it, it could be the top salesperson. I don't care. You know, it's over at that point. OK, so hopefully it's at least a wake up call for some. I realize in a sales environment, people can get jacked up and motivated and crazy and excited and, you know, holy crap, I can get this deal. Uh, and, and part of that, so that can be good. But there's still a line that we cannot cross. You know, we just can't cross it. And uh, I really hope that that never happens again because it makes me look bad because you think about it like they didn't the guy didn't tag chad in the post right who do you tag tags me you know and i'm like gosh freaking dang it so help me out we're going to jump into some training in a second and continue to focus on being professional so people that people want to talk to okay i, I i've I, I may follow up hard I may build rapport well and fact find well and close deals, but in no way ever has someone ever had to say, dude, you are, st I'm, I'm starting to hate you. Never send me another message. Never follow me again. Never, ne never, you know, I'm never buying from you ever again. Like that stuff just has never happened to me because I try to go about it the right way. And I want each and every one of you to do the exact same thing. And I want us to use this as a lesson moving forward. This is a lesson. This is not um, anything else other than that. It's a lesson and it's time to uh, kind of wake up, me to wake up. I told Andy this morning, I said, dude, I don't care if you have to flip in drug tests, back, back background check, um, throw Mike in a ring with him. I don't care what you got to do. Like, like, dude, vet the freak out of salespeople from now on. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be a little harder on salespeople from now on, but I want you here. I want you successful. I want you to make a ton of money like several people already are. But we've brought on seven, eight, ten salespeople lately, last few months, and it's, it's growing. And we can't always vet people as well as we'd like. Uh, I was joking with Taylor uh, this morning. I'm like, dude, because he's always talking about adding some people to their team. And I'm like, dude, you still want employees now? <laughs> and it's like, there's times where it's, it's not always roses and sunshine being a business owner, as people think. Okay, so uh, just think about you are a professional. You are a representation of either Cody Askins, 8% Nation, Secure Agent Marketing, um, me, Lauren, Landon, Lindsay, et cetera. You are a representation of us, exactly us. And if at any point you don't think you're a good representation of that, we will help you pack your bags. Okay, so, so use the lesson. I'm sorry to beat you guys up instead of beating him up. Um, I already you know, did that a few minutes ago. Uh, the problem, and, and, and the problem is that he's, the dude's got voicemails and messages and all kind of stuff. And I'm, and I'm going to go call the guy and apologize. And I'm also, everybody that commented on that Facebook post, I'm going to send a video message to today. And there's like, there's like 50, 60 people on that thing. Like I'm going to take my whole morning and, and go like apologize to who knows how many people. And we're, 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 we're live in the super right now, just because as like a freaking public apology for the psychoticness that went down. 
it was posted at like midnight and then and I didn't see it till 6 a.m. So it was like there was a lot of activity between them, you know, and so um, I'm gonna go do my part to help the situation. I need you guys to do your part. Sound good? Yeah. Sound good? Yes, Sound good? Yes, okay, thank you guys, appreciate it, thank you. Okay, let's jump into some training. Hey, you love this video and you want some brain food? I got five books that every new insurance agent should read. Go watch that, grab the books, I'll see you over there. When you read a book, when you go to an event, when you listen to a book, when you go to a mastermind, when you buy a university, when you do these different things, okay, when you have a coach, whatever. If you don't have a coach, gosh darn it, you need